Velma Dingle Hooper. She's back. No, no, wrong. No, that's wrong too. That's even wronger. It's they're all wrong. They're just all wrong. The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. The Velma, the most offensive version of a Scooby-Doo inspired character ever is back, is back. We don't even have to look at this trailer to know how, how much people, how people feel, how much people feel, how much... She's the biggest, biggest... <laughs> C word in the universe, isn't she? I am Mecca. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to put it off, aren't I? I'm trying to postpone it because I'm going to be stopping it and commentating and commentarying and, uh, and talking because copyright and, you know, bite my copyright. Bite, ooh, bite my copyright. Bite my copyright. Anyone want to domesticate me already? Put a ring on it. I'm not getting any younger. You know, you know. Ahem, ahem. Velma's back. Velma has to be back. Why does she have to be back? Last time they were going to put like soldiers' brains in hippies and then it backfired and then we had more fun making fun of it because why? Because why? Bob Iger has nothing to do with this. But I have a Bob Iger pin for some reason. Velma! It's Velma Dinkley. Yeah, and your I name's Velma Dinkley. This is the season two trailer. It's back in 10 days. She's back in 10 days. We've got to deal with this. Caught my first serial killer. Did Victoria Jones. Oh, she got a serial killer. She is so sociopathic. She would be the serial killer, wouldn't she? She eats french fries out of the garbage. She is just blatantly nasty to absolutely everybody. Doesn't have any regard for anybody other than herself. Is literally on a stripper pole for her daddy's attention. Ahem, ahem. Literally on a stripper pole. <laughs> What's she gonna be doing? Delivering DoorDash in this this season or something, and she's gonna be complaining about it. Change me? Yes. Being popular. Oh, they they zoomed in on an eyeball. Yes, we see you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Which one? We see you. We got you. We understand now. Alert doesn't suck. Brains in jars. See two-headed brain in a jar. The Roswell aliens that are floating around in consciousnesses, floating to whoever is in a psychedelic haze. If you believe in the illu- Hey! This is the one of those false conspiracy videos, isn't it? When real conspiracies become far too outlandish, that's when parody conspiracies look even more like reality. It's time to strap on your headgear and search through the Aluminum Archives. Norville's grandmother was a was a soldier, scientist, experimenty person, and then Daphne's mother. No, Norville, well, that's just Black Shaggy, right? Or no, no. I don't get any of the decisions for anything in this other than just to prove that this is the wrong dimension and universe. Unfortunately, it has taught me nothing about teen romance. Oh, yeah. And she was just trying to make out with Daphne and... But Fred was in love with her and so was Norval for some reason. I don't know. Did she choose Fred already? You or Norval? Norval? Which one's which? Which one? Who's who? Who's who? Who is who? Who is who at this point? Is is Fred or is Norval? Because, because who's she choosing here? You loved him. Do you I really think she's choosing whoever chose her. You want to have a deep conversation about our feelings right now? Yeah. No, you just want to make out and make it all cringy and weird just so that the adult cartoon fans that you actually make fun of can sit here and be irritated and triggered by this. Yes. Fine. Yes. Punch it, Fred. Is that, is that another, like, girlfriend or something? Because everybody's just dating everybody. Velma wants to be like a hot chick, but she doesn't understand that if she was just kind of cute and bubbly, she would be. Be cute and bubbly sometimes, me. I know it's an allegory for how nasty I can be, and it just makes me all brown and gross, and, and I don't look pretty, and 
I know, I know. I'm trying to be chill. And if you want me to be chill, you will help and donate money to this channel and subscribe and share these around to all your Velma favorite Velma fan sites and drop a donation in that tip jar with the Streamlabs link when you see it. I will try and put that in this video. Remind me, me. I'm going to remind myself to do that. And that's on the live shows. We do the What the Dubs live on this channel. That's a lot of fun. Where we come in and we redub these bad things. And we use the Steam Community Workshops where they get clips from all over the place. Oh, we need it from that show where the guy takes his shirt off and tries to bang ghosts. Oh, that guy's hot. We, we need clips of that where he's like, if you're here and, and you want me to take my shirt off, come and scratch me on the back of my neck. I like that. You I like that show. My guilt is causing me to In other words, I want clips of that and what the dub, and I want somebody else to do it for me. <laughs> Marijuana will cure them. Zero side effect. <laughs> Ew. Ew. And you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? You probably do. I'm not even going to put it in for reference. Use your imagination. You've all seen it if you're watching Velma. Crap. They killed the priest. Well, they killed the priest. There you go. Oh, so this is just the, like more of this gory, gross crap, which is... <laughs> it's more fun to just make fun of it, isn't it? It's more fun to just pick apart how horrendously bad this can be, isn't it? Serial killer is targeting men! If I don't solve this murder... Is a serial killer targeting men now? Oh, I don't think that this show that hates men is going to care that they're targeting men. Ooh, shovel killer, a shovel killer, yay. Victoria Jones, who's Victoria Jones now? Oh, that's Fred's mom. Okay, yeah, Fred's mom. She twerked over Fred's mom's grave last time because a giant rock hit her, or killed her, fell and killed her. And, <laughs> oh yeah, Fred was too incompetent to run the company, so they were trying to groom Daphne to do it. There was so much that went on, and, and Daphne's parents went and hid in a mine. I think, and somebody's, uh, were her parents the, the gay cop parent? I don't remember. Oh, those are her adopted parents. Those are her adopted parents. And Velma's dad had a baby with a waitress, but the baby, uh, the waitress just had a baby for TikTok, and it wasn't even the dad's anyway, probably, or something stupid like that. And why do I remember so much of Velma? Help. Who oh, else? Fred Jones, Spooky Stuff Hunter is here. Yeah, I'm still doing that. Spooky Stuff Hunter, he's hunting. It, oh my God, is he looking for Bigfoot or something? Go, 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 go. Whatever's brewing is even bigger than last time. <laughs> yeah, the demons are daisy chaining from, uh, from wherever the realm they're at, using all the negative psychic energy on this planet from people being triggered and mad and angry all the time. When you find someone you care about, lock them down ASAP. Yeah, so the aliens uh, are putting their consciousness inside of people who can tap into it in the psychedelic realm, conspiratorially wise, like fake, fake woo stuff wise, if you want to believe that, you know, with the pyramids. Hey, tell me what Serpentine does in the comment section below. If we're going full woo, you have no idea what I'm talking about. It is a pyramid. Okay, so we're using the ley lines and the positive and negative pyramid points in the planet. We're not thinking, we're only thinking on a map surface two dimensionally. You're not thinking three dimensionally as well as far as the ley lines go. So point the pyramid into the planet and you'll see the topographical ley lines as well, which we already know. Everybody already knows that. Why am I talking about it like people people don't, huh? People know that already, right? Yes, of course they do. This is official police business. So if we catch any of you investigating, you'll be in cuffs faster than a startup founder with a weird voice. Um... Did I just do that in my description of something that's like so random that only I know what I'm talking about? And now they're doing that too? Uh-huh. You see, you see why it doesn't work in these cartoons, right? Because I'm going to now go in and decide if I want to edit this or not. And I'm thinking not. Just to leave a point as to, like, tell me if you know what the crap I'm talking about half the time when I don't edit in a picture. Because this is what they're doing in the show, and I think they think that people are psychic. 
And I think that they think the people who are watching this are in the psychedelic psychic realm where, where they know what they're talking about by trying to socially condition and replace your personality, Sergeant Baker style, yes sir, yes sir, three bags full sir, with hypnotic suggestions and cues and trigger words by telling you enough of the thing you need to talk about, right? Which, which is why I get really, really mad when people, you know, when people want me to talk about something that isn't the focus of a of a rant or something, especially when it's trying to buy or persuade my opinion sometimes, right? Because that's what it feels like, you know, when, when my thought pattern is interrupted to go off on some unrelated, unimportant thing I don't really care about from somebody who's just trying to tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me that I don't like tomatoes, despite the fact that I do eat them all the time. I just don't care for the cherry tomatoes and things like that. Th things things of that nature. Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever gone through that? Pray tell, or am I just in a weird psychedelic realm that only the Velma writers can understand? No, no. <laughs> so, oh no. Velma season two. Well, there, there you go. They want you... They want you <laughs> to think that this is worth your money, isn't it? They want you to say Velma is is what <laughs> I have a theory. Here's another one of my little theories. That they went in with all of these episodes pre-written before the whole 2020 happened, right? They went in with all of that and they said, hey, we can stretch this out into two seasons if we just split up the amount of episodes per season because they're very short, aren't they? And that is how we get these short streaming things that are just out there to try and pick out your nostalgia dollar just to see who will bite. And none of them are worth it, are they? I am Mecca. I'm worth it. Please donate your streaming money to me. Watch me make fun of them. Make fun of them with me here on What the Dub. And I will see you guys. Oh, join my channel memberships. Most of my live streams go to channel membership after the fact. So if you miss them, watch them later when you're at work or at the gym or whatever on the road. Watch them on the road by joining my channel memberships. Donate however much you like. This is how I make my... If you are loaded, load me up. If you're loaded, load me up. If you need a side, you know what... That's a shovel. That's not a you know what. Rent me an apartment out here. Why not? Why not rent us an apartment out here? They already think we do one you know what anyways, if you know what I'm saying. I am Mecca. Guess what? Whoopsie! Whoopsie! No, not you. I am. <sighs> I don't want to see a book of witches! I don't want to see anything! Any stars! I don't want to see any of this! Dark side of psychics, all the things, tarot card reading. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. Ma now, let's look and see why the dark sided stuff is coming out now and what we can do about it together. I'll see you, see you next time. Later. I'll see you soon. Soon.